Hello everyone and welcome. Hello from VoiceOver Sammy. What we will need for painting the tea light candle holder is paint brushes, any kind of acrylic paint, old plastic bowl, old plastic cup filled with water, and Mod Podge. I'm just going to go through the supplies that we need one more time. These are the paint brushes that I have. We won't need to use all of those. And I'm just going to show you here the different types of acrylic paints that I have. You can use any type of acrylic paints that you want to. I also have this little container of paint by number acrylics. So see, you can use whatever paints that you'd like. These are my most expensive acrylic paints. You don't need the most expensive. That's okay. I have a plastic lid to put my paints on. And this is the bowl that I'll put the Mod Podge in. And this is the cup that I put my water in. This is the Mod Podge that I use. I use the high gloss. I have the tea candle holder here. I'm just going to take that tea light out. I'm just showing you here what it looks like once it's dry. I'm going to be using the pink melon. I really like the color of that. And I'm going to be using the black um, acrylic paint as well. I'm just putting the pink paint here on the lid that I have. And then I'm going to be putting that black acrylic paint on the lid too. I have my paintbrush here. I'm going to get a bit of water and thin out that pink paint. We don't want it too thick on the surface, so I'm just adding water to that and thinning it out. And then I'm spreading it around to see exactly how thin I want it. So I'm just moving that around, adding more water as I think needs be. And then um, I'm just getting a little bit of paper towel right there just in case I need it. Just moving that around and then I'm going to apply that to the surface here. We need to make sure that we put this on the uh, entire surface on the side that we want it. I want to uh, make this, oops, <laughs> my paintbrush fell apart for some reason. <laughs> I put it back together though. We got it all put together. Um, so basically what I want to do is I want to paint one side pink and the other side black. So I'm trying to get the surface completely covered with this pink. You want to do your light color first, then your dark color. If you do your dark color first, you're going to mix it in with your pink. And we don't want that. We do not want to mix that together. So now I'm going to apply the black there. I'm adding a little bit of water to the black to try to get it thinned out. And then I'm going to put that on the surface as well. I want to make sure that I am not really smearing that pink with the black. The black is the most dominant color. So we don't want to mix it in with that pink, nor did we want the pink mixing in with the black. And you can use any color that you'd like and you can decorate this any way that you want to. I just chose the pink and the black. I thought it looked really, really good together. And I wanted that good contrast of that black mixing in with that pink. I thought it looked great together. So here I'm just trying to get that black into the entire surface there. Make sure there is no white showing. We don't want any white showing at all. I didn't paint the bottom, but you can if you want to. You need to wait until the bottom is dry. We need to make sure that we wait because it will smear the paint if we don't. So I'm just moving this around in my hand and making sure I get the entire surface. I want to make sure no white is showing. Supplying that black there. And I, I'm looking at it right now to make sure that I have the surface the way that I want it. And it looks like a little bit of white is still showing there. So I'm just painting that a little bit more. And then I'm showing you here that we're going to be getting the Mod Podge. The Mod Podge is to make this really, really shiny. We want to make sure that this paint is completely dry before we put on the Mod Podge because it will smear 
it will take that paint and mix it all together. So what I'm doing here is I'm pouring the Mod Podge into this bowl. I'm grabbing a little bit of that Mod Podge onto my paintbrush, and then I'm going to apply that to the entire surface of our tea candle holder. So I'm just going around and dabbing that on there, and then um, I will smooth that out a little bit so there's no uh, bubbles or anything on the surface. So what I'm doing here is I'm just smearing that on there, making sure that I have the entire surface covered and it looks pretty good here. Looks like we're doing really well with covering it. And as you can tell there, I was showing you that a little bit of the black did come off on my paintbrush. But other than that, it, it turns it turned out really, really well. I'm just getting the creases in there with this Mod Podge. And I'm going to show you here the end result, how shiny and pretty it looks. I think it turned out really, really well here. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye!